In today's tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can take a really inexpensive pair of heels and by adding a rhinestone applique to the back of the shoes, you can create a really luxurious pair of shoes, super inexpensive and very easily. And these are perfect for weddings or proms, dances, all kinds of special events. So um, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can visit my Etsy shop, Blingy Thingy, for all kinds of sparkly craft items and embellishments. Here we go. Let's get started in this tutorial. Hi, you guys. So today what I'm going to be working with is a pair of black high heels that I purchased at the mall for about $20. I'm going to be using the E6000 craft glue that dries clear. I sell this in my shop. I'll leave a link for that. If you prefer to use a um, hot glue gun, of course you can do that also. It's up to you. Either one will work perfectly for this project. And then I'm also going to be using these little um, embroidery scissors that I purchased from Michaels. They were about $5. And then I'm going to be applying these gorgeous, sparkly, hot fixed rhinestone um, appliques to the back of the heels. Now this is the gold medal. Um, I carry these in my Etsy shop. I'll leave links. And then I also have the silver metal and they're both just absolutely gorgeous. Um, what we're going to have to do though, before we can apply this to the back of the shoe, since we're not using a hot fix method, is that we want to cut away all of this excess because we don't want to see this on the back of the shoe, but we want to be really careful that as we're cutting, that we're not cutting these threads because we don't want to compromise the integrity of the, you know, the stitching that's holding everything in place and holding these rhinestones in place. So you want to make sure that when you're cutting that you're careful to avoid that. And I cannot stress how important that that is because if you start cutting the strings, some of these stones are going to come off and you, you definitely don't want that to happen. So we're going to cut away this excess and then we can glue it onto the back of the heels. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start the glue and I'm going to start at the top and just kind of go right down the middle down to the bottom. Now I want to be careful when I'm doing the bottom. I don't want a big glob there because as soon as I press it, I don't want it squirting out all over my shoe. So we want to avoid that. So very lightly towards the top and the bottom and then we want to do a lot in the middle. And we're going to put that on first and just kind of hold it and press it. So I want to just kind of line it up the top, make sure that it's straight. And I got just a little bit of glue on my hand, so I want to get that off. And then I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to cup it and just press firmly and really let that kind of just stick and adhere. Give that just a few minutes to do that and then what we're going to do is come along to the sides and glue the sides and then also hold that down because we want to let it um, really take to the shoe and adhere and then we want to let it dry for probably a good 24 hours.
So as you can see, the back of these shoes turned out absolutely beautiful. Um, I think just after you've applied all of your glue, just make sure that you really just do like this and just cup and hold the applique in the back of the shoe until it adheres really well. And then after that, let it dry for about 24 hours. If this tutorial has been helpful for you, be sure to like and also subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're not already, follow me on Instagram at blingy thingy, where I'm constantly posting coupon codes for my shop as well as hosting giveaways. Thank you guys so much for watching.